first thing you're gonna do is just stew goldfish is bring a pot of water to a boil. You wanna clean your goldfish in chunks to where it has no bones in it, it's boneless meat, and take that goldfish, the chunks of goldfish, nice size chunks because you're gonna make a stew with it. So you don't want these little small chunks. You want something to where you're able to put one or two on a plate and it'll be pretty full. So take your chunks of goldfish and you want to put it inside of this pot of boiling water. What you want to do is you want to let that goldfish pre-boil, a paw ball, whatever some people call it. But I say you want to you want to boil this goldfish for about 15 to 20 minutes. Do it to where it gets white and to where it gets tender. See, as soon as I dropped it on the inside, it turned. It almost look. It turned already. See, that's what you want. Let, so let that goldfish boil down. You could put some seasoning on it, some salt and pepper, different types of things. So allow it to do this. Let it come back to a ball for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And then, then I'll show you guys what happens when I take it out. This is the first step though. All right guys, here's the second part of the goldfish. So what you're gonna do is I just added a little meat tenderizer to it. This is about 20 minutes into it. 15, 20 minutes into it. The goldfish is gonna it won't look so fishy anymore. It'll look like big chunks of meat. So you want to go ahead and remove it all from the pot. I'm just, you may have a different way of doing it, but I'm just doing this for the sake of recording it. Keep in mind that you're going to let it go next in some rig gravy for about another 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. So you don't have to like overcook it. So try not to overcook it. Get it to where it's, it's tender and it looks pretty good. So these are the size chunks I got. Alright guys, for the most part, this is the uh, the end of it. I use tomato sauce and some progressive stuff in the can. You're going to need a lot of sugar to cut the potato, the um, the tomato paste. Get the, uh, as people say, get the gas and stuff out of it or whatever, I'm not sure. But uh, not from New Orleans, we use tonings with everything. You can use your own seasonings. Plus, you can add vegetables and stuff to it. Uh, onions and bell peppers and garlic and different things. But like I say, I'm doing it pretty simple. Here's my garfish. I took my goldfish, I put it in the pot, set it on the side. I want to just pour it on the top of the, uh, pour my goldfish on the top of the, uh, the ray gravy. And you can do whatever ray gravy you're accustomed to doing. You know, the same gravy you use your, your meat sauce and spaghetti with. Whatever you want to do with it. And uh, it's going to look like that when you put it in. So you want to let your gravy, your seasoned gravy, cook down into the goldfish. For about 20-25 minutes, put your top on it, drop that fire, and drop my, I got electricity, so drop it down halfway and just let it go, man. And that's your stool goldfish. I already have my rice already on the side over here, so I'm not going to show you guys any photos of it because I'm about to get into eating in a little bit. So like I said, that's pretty much how you do it. So, hope you enjoyed it.